guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, uh, and if you're new here, hi, nice to meet you, I'm Shelby. Um, I mainly, I guess I've been making some special effects makeup videos recently, and that's what we have in store for today. I'm not a beauty guru. Saying that loud and clear, I'm, I'm mediocre at special effects makeup, and when it comes to actually doing makeup that looks normal, there's not much talent there, so we're... We're gonna hold on tight, and we're not going to judge my abilities, because there isn't many abilities here in that realm. So we're just gonna, we're gonna appreciate it. You know, we're just gonna appreciate the effort. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna go right ahead and get started, because I hate intros, so peace out. Okay. So I brought you guys in a little bit, because we gotta get started. So I have all my regular makeup, because I keep all my special effects makeup down here, but there's not much uh, normal beauty makeup down here. So I'm just gonna be going through that and figuring out where the heck I'm supposed to start. So one moment, please. Okay, that's done. I got all my makeup out. Uh, so we're just gonna get on started, and I realize I look like a crackhead right now. We just don't talk about it in this household. I always look like a crackhead. It's a Saturday evening. What do you expect me to look like? Anything less than a crackhead? No. How am I supposed to start this? I guess we'll start on the eyes, because that's what the beauty gurus do. So the eyes are gonna be red and gold eyeshadow. I'm not sure how this is all gonna play out. I'm just gonna start doing stuff because the more I think about it, the more I realize how bad it's gonna be. I need a mirror. It's kind of important. We aren't doing a no mirror makeup challenge in this house. That's way too much effort. We don't do that. Uh, so we gotta conceal those veiny eyelids because there's nothing royal looking like about, like about that. Who wants veiny eyelids? Looks like Grandma legs. We don't need that. Ugh. Perfect. Veinless. Lifeless eyelids. My eyes get irritated. Oh, I also learned. I'm sorry. Continue. What did you learn? That. Now that we have the tea out of the way, we can take care of my pale ass eyelids. Okay, I'm gonna use the. Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I feel like such a beauty guru. Okay, which color am I gonna take? Most, I feel like most people before they film like a video that's like makeup or special effects. They practice they, it. They practice it. You know, we don't do that in this household. We are winging First it. First take, you're watching it live. <laughs> you're in the live studio audience. Hey! <laughs> it's not realistic, there would be booing. People are booing and clapping, you know how it is. You know how it be? Those are like the people that like my Instagram photos but then roast me behind my back. They're booing and clapping. There we we appreciate you, sweeties. Okay, as long I'm, as I get that like, I don't really care yeah. what you say. It's all about the clout. Okay, I'm gonna be taking golden. Is that okra? Is that how they really spell okra? No. What is that? Okra? Okay, you know in this palette, the this, this little color? How it's do you color. pronounce it? It's an earthy pigment. Ochre. 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 Don't learn anything over here. I'm gonna be using golden ochre. Not okra. Ochre. Get it right, ladies and gents. I'm gonna be putting that in my crease. It's a nice transition shade. The first one I'm putting on. It's not too intense. I didn't clean this brush. We're making amateur mistakes for an amateur, which is understandable. Hey, Gracie's still here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not leaving the frame like for the whole video. Oh I'm my god! Be, I'm kidding, I'll give you your fucking content. Fuck you. <laughs> Don't mess, she's just gonna mess with my stuff in the background. Don't put that on your head. Oh my god. Oh no! My brain's exposed! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just continuing. I'm gonna be 
taking burnt orange. I'm putting that in my crease as we ignore Grace. Ooh. How do people look good while doing their makeup? I know I need to go in with the red, but it's just very terrifying to just go in for it, you know? Make that first step. Now that I have it on there, I'm just gonna blend it. So I'm going with the dark red brown color in the modern renaissance palette right there i'm just going in that crease and on the little little bit you need see i'm not that great at makeup but i realize that if i just go in real hard at first then it's going to be subpar but if i take my time and layer it then it'll be mediocre but you know it's okay now I got the red on and you know, it's a little harsh and I want to bring in some yellow. So I'm just going to be going to my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette and taking some yellow and putting that on my crease and just blending it in really well because I want to see what it looks like. Honestly, did not plan for this, but we're not, we're going to try it out. I kind of like it. Hmm. And then I'm just going to be taking the red again and darkening it up. One last time, hopefully. And then I'm gonna be taking a clean brush and blending it all again. Okay, I'm gonna stop paying too much attention to my eyes because I don't really care. And now I'm just gonna be cutting my crease only a little bit because I'm gonna put some gold eyeshadow on there and I want it to show up better. I'm just plopping it on there without any concealer. Oh no! <laughs> what was that? It's your skateboard, chill. It was just your skateboard, man, chill. <laughs> so now I'm gonna be taking the Morphe palette again. I'm gonna be taking, I think, all of the gold colors in the palette and using a little bit of all of them on my lid. Okie dokie, now I'm going to be priming my face and getting into the foundation. Wow. Looks great. Boop, 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 I'm also using the foundation as concealer because I'm lazy and I don't have any concealers that match my skin tone. Yeah. So I'm doing my eyebrows. It's pretty simple. Fuck, why is that so orangey? I want a refund. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my nose with some blush and um, contour and powder. I'm gonna be taking my beauty blender and just going over that contour so that it's not too harsh. And the last thing for the face, I'm just going to be um, highlighting. I'm going to be doing my under eyes in red. And I'm going to be using the red from the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. Okay. That's as good as it's going to get. I'm going to highlight. Um, my brow bone and I'm also gonna highlight the inner corner of my eye <clears throat> okay so now I'm gonna be doing my slit throat part of the look and so what you'll need is some tissues liquid latex and I use a hair dryer in between the layers of the two just to speed up the process oh my god I already tried that was already like on the wand, so it was like dried. So that liquid latex had dried out a little bit on the inside, so it got real sticky where it stuck to itself and just made everything very difficult. So I'm using some cheaper liquid latex that I just got from Walmart. I'm gonna be ripping out pieces of tissue paper to about the size I need them. And then when I put the piece of Kleenex 
on my face, I just rip off any areas that haven't stuck down to the liquid latex. And so then I'm just taking some more liquid latex and going over that to seal the layer. So there's liquid latex on bottom and on top. And to get my liquid latex, liquid latex job really seamless and to look most realistic, I kind of pull the liquid latex up past the piece of paper and make really thin layers of liquid latex too. So it's not just a sudden jump into my skin. And then I'm gonna plug in my dryer and dry that layer. And now it's dried again. And I'm doing the same thing all over again. And I'm gonna do about four or five layers, but it really doesn't take long. And the more layers you do, <clears throat> the thicker like the flabs of skin will be. And I think it makes it look more realistic when they aren't too thin and it just helps create more depth to it. So I think that is enough layers in my opinion. So I'm going to powder the heck out of this. It's sticky. Okay. So now I'm going to be putting on my foundation and I'm going to use the lighter one because when you put your foundation on top of something like toilet paper or tissues, it's going to be darker on the toilet paper than your actual skin. I'm focusing all upon my neck and on the area where the tissue paper is because you want everything to be the same color. And that foundation wasn't covering as well as I wanted to, so I'm just taking the Born This Way foundation. Hopefully it will cover it a little bit better. So that's a little bit better, and I'm going to be powdering it once again. Then I'm gonna be taking my contour palette yet again, and I'm gonna be taking the most cool toned color in the palette on a fluffy brush and just brushing over um, the wound area. And now I'm going to start on the slit, so I just have to make, rip a little area where I can get the scissors in. Now that I have a hole in the tissue paper, I'm just going to be taking my scissors and cutting a slit right across. And my scissors have rounded ends, so it's not gonna stab me. So I just shoved a paintbrush right on through it. And that kind of cleared a little pathway for me to take my scissors. So I'm taking it back out. God damn it, these scissors are too blunt. Okay, I'm back and I have more dangerous scissors. So this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so I have the slit in the tissue paper, but um, the top of it is coming off a little bit. So I'm just gonna be taking some liquid latex Sticking it all up in there and just holding that down. And I'm stretching the skin flaps. Mm -hmm. Skin flaps. Skin flaps, just so that they stick out a little bit more, you know? So I'm just taking it in between my fingers and pulling on it, and the latex will stretch. Now I'm just going to be taking this blush, it's by BLS, what is this? Kitty Pink by Dirty Little Secret Cosmetics, scandalous. And it's just a really good bruising color, I'm going to be putting it on the slits. And now I'm just going to be going on to the inside of the slit, I'm going to be taking a pretty bright red at first and just putting it all in there. I'm using an eyeshadow for this, but I'm considering breaking out the cream paints because I know it will go faster. 
Okay, so I'm going to be using my Mevron uh, cream paint palette. I'm going to be taking the red color and just going on the slit. Now I'm just taking a black eyeshadow and kind of blending it into those red cream paints. And I'll be putting blood, obviously, over this, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and now put, before I put on any fake blood, I'm going to put the wig on because that would be a mess to try to put on with fake blood all over me. So let's do that. Costume change real quick. So we out here with the wig, we out here with the homecoming dress from high school, and we're just stunting our stuff. Looking like a bloody goddess. So I'm gonna be taking the... Coagulated. Coagulated? It's blood that's been, it's like a blood clot. Well, we love a clotty neck. I know, so right? That's just not all the blood we need, because we need so much more than just that. I'm gonna be taking some stage blood and a stippling sponge. And oh my gosh, this hair. I'm not used to it. I'm just gonna be stippling all around. Now I'm gonna be taking the same stage blood, but I'm gonna be taking it with a syringe. Syringe? Syringe? Syringe. Ugh. And I'm just gonna be getting some up in there. Oh, thank you. Get a friend that'll hold your hair back when you're putting fake blood on yourself. I feel like such a scientist. So my camera just died, and I'm not about to go charge this battery and come back, so we're going to be doing it on here. So I'm just taking this syringe of blood, and I'm going to be dripping it. touch and we put it on a crown because you know the whole point of this was that I'm a queen. So we just gotta make it complete. Look out, you're talking to your hiney.